Explaining Swedish Death Cleaning, Decluttering with Purpose. Have you ever heard of the term Swedish death cleaning? No, it's not some dark and eerie ritual, but rather a decluttering method that has gained popularity in recent years. This unique approach to organizing and tidying up has its roots in Sweden, where it is known as dostadning. Swedish death cleaning, in essence, is a way of downsizing and simplifying your life with the ultimate goal of relieving your loved ones from the burden of dealing with your possessions after you're gone. The concept of Swedish death cleaning can be traced back to Margareta Magnusson, a Swedish artist and author who introduced it to the world in her book aptly titled The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning. Released in 2017, this delightful and thought-provoking read became an instant hit, captivating readers with its refreshing take on decluttering. Magnuson, with her wisdom and charm, shed light on the Swedish tradition of preparing for the inevitable, emphasizing the importance of taking charge of your possessions before your time is up. Swedish death cleaning goes beyond the mere act of tidying up. It carries a profound significance that resonates with people on a deep level. Here's why this decluttering method has garnered such attention and admiration. 1. Relieving your loved ones. Imagine the scenario. You've bid your final farewell, and now your dear ones are left to sort through the piles of belongings you've left behind. It can be an emotionally daunting task, burdened by grief and the weight of decision-making. Swedish death cleaning empowers you to alleviate this burden by taking responsibility for your possessions while you still can. By downsizing and organizing your belongings, you spare your loved ones the overwhelming task of sifting through a lifetime's accumulation. 2. Finding Peace in Simplicity Our lives are often cluttered with material possessions that we no longer need or cherish. Swedish death cleaning encourages us to let go of the unnecessary and embrace a simpler existence. It urges us to question the true value of our belongings and consider the emotional weight they carry. Through this process, we discover the liberating power of letting go and find peace in the simplicity of a more streamlined and intentional life. 3. Reflecting on Memories While Swedish death cleaning involves parting with belongings, it also provides an opportunity for reflection and reminiscing. As you sort through your possessions, you encounter cherished memories embedded within each item. This process allows you to relive moments, celebrate milestones, and honor the experiences that have shaped your life. It prompts you to curate a collection of mementos that truly encapsulate your journey, rather than holding on to everything without purpose. 4. Embracing the Present Swedish Death Cleaning is not solely focused on the distant future. It encourages us to live more mindfully in the present. By evaluating and organizing our possessions, we become more attuned to our current needs and desires. It prompts us to question whether we are surrounded by objects that enhance our daily lives or ones that hinder our growth. Through this introspective process, we can make conscious choices about what truly matters and create an environment that aligns with. Chapter 1. What's the deal with Swedish death cleaning? So you're probably wondering, what is Swedish death cleaning? Well, hold on to your hats because I'm about to spill the beans. Swedish death cleaning is all about getting your decluttering game on point with a purpose. It's a method that originated in Sweden, and it's all about tidying up your life while you're still kicking to save your loved ones from a major headache down the road. Setting it apart, Swedish death cleaning versus other methods. Now you might be thinking, hey, isn't Swedish death cleaning just like any other decluttering method out there? Well, not exactly. Let's break it down and see how it stacks up against the competition. 1. The KonMari method, sparking joy versus future proofing. Ah, the famous KonMari method where you ask yourself, does this item spark joy? While Marie Kondo's approach focuses on the present and embracing joy, Swedish death cleaning takes a step further. It's all about preparing for the future and sparing your loved ones the pain of dealing with your stuff after you've shuffled off this mortal coil. 2. Minimalism. Less is more versus less is less for others. Minimalism, baby. The idea of less is more, right? Well, Swedish death cleaning puts a twist on that notion. It's not just about what you gain personally. It's about what your loved ones will lose when you're gone. By streamlining your possessions, you're doing them a solid by not burdening them with a mountain of stuff to sort through. 3. The Fly Lady Method Baby Steps versus the Grand Cleanup The Fly Lady Method is all about baby steps, taking it slow and steady. But Swedish death cleaning? Oh no, it's not for the faint of heart. It's the Grand Cleanup. It's tackling your entire abode and getting rid of the excess baggage that has accumulated over the years. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. Why should you even bother with this Swedish death cleaning thing? Well, hold on to your hats, because I'm about to drop some knowledge bombs. 4. Lightening the load. Less clutter, less stress. Picture this. 
a clutter-free haven where you can actually find what you need without rummaging through piles of junk. Sounds like heaven, right? Well, that's one of the sweet benefits of Swedish death cleaning. It's all about shedding the excess, simplifying your life, and finding that inner zen. Less stuff, less stress. Simple as that. 5. Giving the gift of ease, a loving gesture. Think about your loved ones for a hot minute. When you're gone, do you really want to leave them with the Herculean task of dealing with your stuff? Nah, I didn't think so. Swedish death cleaning is your chance to lighten their load and show some love. By taking charge of your possessions now, you're giving them the gift of ease and a smooth ride when you're no longer around. 6. Nostalgia Unleashed. Cherishing the good stuff. Here's the thing about Swedish death cleaning. It's not just about chucking things left and right. It's a journey down memory lane. As you sift through your belongings, you'll stumble upon cherished memories that will make you smile, laugh, and maybe even shed a tear or two. It's an opportunity to curate the good stuff and let go of the unnecessary baggage that's been holding you back. 7. Embracing change. The freedom to evolve. Life is a journey, and we're constantly evolving. Swedish death cleaning nudges you to embrace change and let go of the things that no longer serve you. It's a chance to assess your current needs, desires, and aspirations. By decluttering and organizing your space, you create room for new experiences, passions, and personal growth. It's like hitting the refresh button on your life. And who doesn't want a fresh start? 8. Putting priorities in focus. What truly matters. In the midst of our hectic lives, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. Swedish death cleaning acts as a reality check. It forces you to question the value of your possessions and prioritize what truly brings you joy, meaning, and fulfillment. By decluttering and simplifying, you create a space that aligns with your values and goals. It's all about finding clarity and living a life that's true to yourself. Chapter 2. Let's get down to business. Swedish death cleaning steps. Step 1. Sorting through clothing and personal items. The Great Closet Adventure. All right, folks, it's time to tackle that closet of yours. Start by rummaging through your wardrobe and personal items. Sort them into three categories, keep, donate, and toss. It's time to bid farewell to those clothes that haven't seen the light of day since the 80s, or that stuffed animal collection that's taking up way too much space. Be ruthless. Keep only the items that bring you joy or have sentimental value. The rest? Well, let them find a new home and bring joy to someone else's life. Step 2. Decluttering items that occupy the most space. The big guns. Now it's time to tackle the heavy hitters, the items that take up the most space in your abode. You know what I'm talking about. Those dusty old furniture pieces, that massive collection of DVDs, or the countless boxes of knickknacks you've been hoarding. It's time to ask yourself, do I really need this? If the answer is no, it's time to let it go. Consider selling, donating, or giving away these space invaders. Trust me, you'll feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Step 3. Cleaning out digital files. The cyber cleanse. All right, folks, let's not forget about the digital clutter that's lurking in the depths of your devices. It's time to embark on a cyber cleanse. Sort through your files, emails, and photos, and get rid of the digital baggage that's been piling up. Delete those unnecessary documents, unsubscribe from those pesky newsletters, and organize your digital photos into folders. Your devices will thank you, and you'll be able to find that cute cat video you saved ages ago in a jiffy. Chapter 3, Swedish Death Cleaning Tips, Navigating the Journey. Tip 1, Baby Steps, Starting Small, Dreaming Big. Now, now, don't overwhelm yourself with the mountain of stuff you've accumulated over the years. Take it one step at a time. Start with a small area, a drawer, a shelf, or even a single category of items. Celebrate each small victory and build momentum as you go. Remember... Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your clutter-free haven. Dream big, but start small. Tip 2. Get in the right frame of mind. The power of perspective. Swedish death. Cleaning is not just about physically decluttering, it's about shifting your mindset. Before diving into the decluttering frenzy, take a moment to reflect on your goals and intentions. Visualize the end result and the freedom that comes with letting go. Remind yourself why you're doing this, for yourself and for your loved ones. A positive attitude and the right frame of mind can make all the difference in this journey. Tip 3. Share the love, involving loved ones, and seek support. Decluttering doesn't have to be a solo endeavor. Involve your loved ones in the process. Share stories, reminisce, and let them in on the Swedish death cleaning adventure. Seek support from friends, family, or even online communities. Share your progress, challenges, and triumphs. Remember, a burden shared is a burden halved.
Tip four, embrace the joy of giving, donation and repurposing. One person's trash is another person's treasure. Instead of simply tossing out unwanted items, consider donating or repurposing them. Spread the joy by giving your belongings a second life. Clothes can find new owners, furniture can be repurposed or upcycled, and books can be donated to local libraries or charity organizations. Embracing the joy of giving not only reduces waste, but also brings positivity and goodwill into the world. Tip 5. Stay organized. A place for everything and everything in its place. As you embark on your Swedish death cleaning journey, remember the golden rule. Organization is key. Create designated spaces for your belongings, whether it's using storage bins, shelves, or cabinets. Keep similar items together, label boxes, and maintain a system that works for you. By staying organized, you'll prevent future clutter from creeping back into your life. Tip 6. Celebrate milestones. Reward yourself along the way. Decluttering can be a challenging and emotional process, so make sure to celebrate your milestones along the way. Treat yourself to something special, a small indulgence or a fun outing, to reward your progress. Acknowledge the effort you've put in and the positive impact it's having on your life. You deserve it. Tip 7. Maintenance is key. Embrace the habit of regular decluttering. Swedish death cleaning is not a one-time event. It's a lifestyle change. Once you've decluttered and organized, it's important to embrace the habit of regular maintenance. Take a few minutes each day or dedicate specific intervals to reassess your belongings. Ask yourself if they still serve a purpose or bring you joy. By staying proactive, you'll prevent clutter from creeping back into your life and maintain the sense of freedom you've achieved. Chapter 4. The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning Margareta Magnusson's Wisdom let me introduce you to a gem of a book, Margareta Magnusson's The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning. In this delightful read, Magnusson shares her wisdom and personal experiences with the art of decluttering and organizing. Now don't let the title scare you off. It's not as morbid as it sounds. Magnusson approaches the topic with a lighthearted touch and a sprinkle of humor. She guides you through the process of Swedish death cleaning, offering practical tips and heartfelt anecdotes along the way. Key Takeaways Nuggets of Wisdom to Treasure Within the pages of Magnuson's book, you'll discover some golden nuggets of wisdom. Here are a few key takeaways that will stay with you long after you finish reading. Treasure the present, cherishing what truly matters. The gentle art of Swedish death cleaning reminds us to embrace the present moment and appreciate the things that truly matter. Magnuson encourages us to surround ourselves with items that bring us joy and let go of the rest. By decluttering, we create space for what truly matters and cultivate a deeper sense of contentment. Memories, not material possessions, a shift in perspective. Magnuson reminds us that memories reside within us, not within material possessions. She encourages us to cherish the memories associated with our belongings, but also to recognize when it's time to let them go. By releasing the physical clutter, we can better focus on the memories and experiences that truly define us. Lightening the load, Simplify, simplify, simplify. One of the central themes in the book is the importance of simplifying our lives. Magnuson encourages us to lighten the load, both for ourselves and for our loved ones. By decluttering and organizing our possessions, we free up mental and physical space, allowing us to live more fully and authentically. Chapter 5. The Benefits of Swedish Death Cleaning. A Path to Simplicity. Swedish Death Cleaning offers numerous benefits that extend beyond the physical act of decluttering, by streamlining your belongings, you simplify your life. You create a space that is easier to navigate, clean, and maintain. No more searching for that missing sock or stumbling over piles of unused gadgets. It's a breath of fresh air, a sigh of relief, and a simpler way of being. Appreciating your belongings, the art of letting go. Swedish death cleaning invites us to appreciate our belongings before letting them go. By taking the time to reflect on the memories and significance attached to each item, we can part with them in a more intentional and respectful manner. It's a process that allows us to honor the past while making room for the future. Lightening the burden. Ease for your loved ones. One of the most profound benefits of Swedish death cleaning is the relief it brings to your loved ones. By taking charge of your possessions and decluttering with purpose, you spare them the emotional and logistical burden of sorting through your belongings after you pass. It's a loving gesture that shows you care, even beyond the realms of this earthly existence. So I hope this journey through the world of Swedish death cleaning has inspired you to embark on your own decluttering adventure. Remember, it's not just about tidying up. It's about simplifying your life, cherishing what truly matters, and lightening the load for yourself and your loved ones. 
Margareta Magnusson's The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning offers guidance and a lighthearted approach to this transformative process. So why not give it a try? Embrace the Swedish way and embark on a journey of simplification and mindfulness. Start by sorting through your belongings, letting go of what no longer serves you, and cherishing the memories that truly matter. Remember the key takeaways from Magnusson's book, Treasure the Present, Focus on Memories Rather Than Material Possessions, and Simplify, Simplify, Simplify. By practicing Swedish death cleaning, you'll create a more organized and meaningful living space, experience a sense of liberation, and alleviate the burden on your loved ones. It's a gift you can give to yourself and those you care about. What are you waiting for? Grab a copy of The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning, roll up your sleeves, and embark on this transformative journey. Simplify your life, cherish your belongings, and let go of the unnecessary baggage. Swedish Death Cleaning awaits. May it bring you clarity, joy, and a newfound sense of freedom. If you enjoy watching this video, consider subscribing to our channel.